Hey everybody, uh, Game Saru here, and uh, we have got another box opening from Japan for you. So these two suckers are the ones that we've been waiting for since April 6th. Um, as of this recording, it is uh, July 1st, so it has taken a while to get here. These were, I think, the week before they put the restrictions in for EMS. Um, so they kind of got stuck in the system. They were sitting there for, I think, two and a half months or so before finally shipping from the Origin Post Office over to the U.S. through customs and all that. And that actually took a little longer than normal as well. So it's been just under three months, um, and we got them here. So first thing to note, these are from, uh, from Japan, and um, I don't blame them for any of this, but it looks like probably from the time that it was sitting there, um, this first box here, this is how it came in. Um, and as you can tell, it's, um, it's open. And there is a big hole here on the side, just flat out, straight open, you know, reach right inside. Um, probably just, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was from sitting so long. I don't know. This is only, I think, this is technically, I think, the first packages that we got from Japan. Um, from, from Japan, rather. Uh, but this, the second ones we got had gone DHL and came sooner anyway. So anyway, I'm going to open these up. I think everything in here is going to be pretty, pretty okay. From the last box that we opened from them, um, they packed stuff pretty securely, and I'm not super worried about it. Um, so this one, again, was uh, regular. Their, their regular packing job, nothing special, no, um, you know, like extra packing, and uh, so this is how it came in. Who knows, maybe it would have come this way either way, but you, if you look at the box, you can see that on this, on the top, you can't see it from there, but like along here, you can see that a box was probably sitting on top of it because the parts over here are a little more sun faded, so who knows how they were stored. At any rate, let's dig right into it and see what we picked up three months ago. Actually, even longer, because the, a lot of this stuff had also been sitting for a month or two before we even shipped it. So I'm kind of, I've been waiting about five months on some of the items that are in here. So this looks like it's probably a poster. This might be our control panel for this sucker, the Lindbergh behind me here. I'm actually pretty sure it is. As I've been waiting for this for a while since this is going to be our two-player Lindbergh. And I originally bought and shipped everything well in advance so that we would have stuff when it all came in, but of course it didn't. And yeah, that looks like it. It's a Lindbergh control panel, fully populated. And actually, this is the original box for it as well. You can it has the, uh, actually it's an original box for a one player uh, control panel, but let's pull this out. I'll probably keep this box, that's kind of cool. And we've got here the panel that is going to go on that cabinet. Pretty cool. And it's already populated, it's got the harnesses on the back already, so that's just going to drop in, be good to go. Set this over here. Box. And oh, it looks like there's more posters as well. I'll just I'll still open the posters now. Assuming that's what they are. I actually don't remember. Besides the Lindbergh panel, I don't remember what all's in here. I think there's like a, what's it called? Um, a super puzzle fighter. Um, after that, I'm lost, so I have no idea what these are. I had thought all my posters I'd ordered, I sent to, um, I had sent through, uh, Zen Market. Oh, there's also a, there's a tapestry. A friend of mine had me pick up a tapestry for them, so that is in here as well. Oh, this is actually kind of hard to cut open. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing up here, but... Okay, so... Looks like two posters, really well-wrapped. Pull those out. One, two. Drop 
box aside for now. And uh, once again, they're all wrapped up. I can tell what this one is already. It looks like a, a pop and music fever poster. And this one, does it just slip out? Or... So these are these are very well packed. I'm not very happy about how they always take care of these posters. So I'm gonna open this one because I'm not sure what this one is. Oh, this is another poppin' one. It's the leaf. This one is poppin' music party. I'm not gonna open it all the way, I think, because uh, I don't have any other help right now, but I'll try to at least do this without damaging it too much. It's a pop and party poster there. Set that aside. And this one is Fever. I just have good memories for Fever because this version came out while I was studying in Japan. So I got to play it along with all the Unlock games quite a bit. So that's a fever poster. Again, I'm just not going to open them too much. I don't want to damage these since uh, I don't have someone else here with me to help. Okay, open this third poster. Oh, this one's super taped up. Okay. And this poster is, this, I feel like this might be a ninth style poster because, oh no, this is another Poppin' poster. Good. One step closer to a full set that I'm never going to get. Well, this one's actually very well secured. This one, ooh, this one's Carnival. I'm very excited about that. That's super cool. I'm not gonna open it much more than that, but there you go. Okay, so that's three posters. There's probably no more if they, they were all packed in the top here. So let's dig into the next thing. And here we have, ah, okay, yeah, no, this is probably what's filling most of it. Um, and I, I might only open one of these, but I'm gonna, here, actually, I'm gonna move this box down. Like so. And this one is a Gundam EX Versus. Um, let me see if there's others in there, see if it's easier to open up. Um, yeah, it looks like this is another one. I'm just gonna open this box. there and so yeah it's just a Gundam EX versus a system 357 um, I won't open the other one it's the same thing but I think this set of packages was supposed to be the last set of four that I'm picking up if I ever run Gundam um, and I think I might get one more to run um, Tech and Tag and that's Pretty much it. I might pick up some more since they're they're pretty cheap and available right now. Um, okay, so this might be the tap. No, so I thought this might not be the tapestry that the, my friend ordered, but it looks to be pretty big. Oh, you know what? I forgot about this. Yeah. So this is. Um, you're not going to be able to display this whole thing, but uh, this is the EX Versus 2 tapestry. Like, I, I don't know if, if any of you remember, I have the really big um, EX Versus 1 one that's like 10 or 15 feet long or something stupid. This is this is the one for two. Um, and I almost didn't recognize it at first because this is made with a much thicker, nicer material. Um, the one... It was like super cheap and thin, but this one is, this one's actually made out of some sturdy material. So that's cool. I don't know. 
Um, I just got it because I've already got the first and it was, if I remember right, it's pretty cheap. Okay, so let's try and get this box out of the way and we'll get into this second one. Now the second one, um, you can see the box is kind of crushed down a bit. So again, I think it's it might just be that, you know, since these had to stay at the, at the um, post office for so long, they were probably starting to have to stack these up and let them sit for a long time. So normally I think this wouldn't happen. But uh, the first box, everything was fine in there, so I can only assume this one is as well. Let's get into it. And I wouldn't actually be surprised if this isn't just two PCBs and nothing else. So, prepare to be... Oh! No, it isn't. Okay, so I forgot about these, which is good because I picked these up um, as a few extras. I'm going to actually unwrap this. I don't know if you can see what it is yet, but... Of course, the, the best one's on top. I'm just going to get the knife. No, not. I don't know where the knife went. Anyway. <laughs> So I picked up these that came up on Yahoo Japan. I tried to get all of them, but I think some of them were starting to go a bit high. Oh, looks like the corner on this one broke. These are Net City Marquees, which is something that they're usually around 100, 125 or something like that if they, ever, if they ever come up. And I've been meaning to pick them up for a while just because more and more I've been noticing cats coming in without them. And people have been asking for them as well. So anyway, the first one... I got mainly because it's Super Monkey Ball, and whenever I finish the cab, I'm gonna need it. Uh, this corner here broke off, so I'll just super glue that back in or, or something to get it back in. I'm not too worried for the ones that are going on my cab, but um, yeah, that corner did break. I don't know that there is from, and actually, no, that might have happened from shipping because it was it was right here and. So yeah, that's probably damage from, oh, there's another piece there. That damage probably happened from, from the way it was packed. Um, but I guess it's relatively minor for, for what it is. I don't know if I can get the rest of these out. So the rest I didn't get just like for the marquee in particular, but um, I got for the, for the plexi. So yeah, this one has a corner nicked out here, but at least it's an original for Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection, which that one I might actually use. And then Amegi uh, or the what's it Quiz Amegi uh, uh, Megami Sama, uh, oh my goddess. Uh, this one looks to be mostly intact. A little bit of cracking down here, but um. Yeah, this one will probably take the art off and um, and just put it on the wall. Tekken 5 I might use. Depends. Okay, and then inside looks to be two more PCBs and... What's this? Ah, here, so this is the tapestry that my friend got. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna open that, but... Uh, we've got a Namco system ES1 here. I'm going to start messing around with this hardware and learning learning about it. I've been working on ES3 lately. So got that to do that with. And this one I think is another, here we go, another system 357, yeah. So that's it. That's all that's in the box. And um, I think actually then the... Um, Super Puzzle Fighter must be in something else. But uh, at any rate, that's everything that's in the box. And I guess the only real damage we saw was um, the, the corners of these marquees. And actually, I'll just open this up here and show you. It's a nice looking tapestry. I've already told him if he didn't want it, I would take it. But, uh, you know, here we go.
Oh, it's actually pretty big too. So yeah, if you're watching this, uh, come pick this up because I will happily put it on my wall if you don't. So, yeah, that was actually a very large tapestry. I'm gonna walk it down here so you can see the rest of it. But uh, yeah, very good looking. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, we'll be back soon. I'm finally opening up that Vulix Versus. So uh, look forward to that video, and we will see you next time.